My name is Michael Westaway, I'm the Curator of Archaeology and today I want to talk about a site called Kenneth Cave and some of the artefacts from that site. Kenneth Cave was first investigated in 1960 and why it was such an important site is that it pushed back our understanding of Aboriginal occupation by around 20,000 years. So uh, we now know that Aboriginal people have been in Australia for at least 50,000 years. But at the time in the 60s, people had very little idea of the, of, the, of the great time span involved in Aboriginal occupation. So Kenneth Cave provided a very clear idea of how old uh, Aboriginal occupation actually was. Uh, these artefacts provide a very uh, good idea of the complexity of the stone tool different stone tools that Aboriginal people used. And there's a lot of different types that we have in this sequence. In particular, um, I wanted to talk about uh, the Huon knives, which are a very uh, finely made, triangular shaped knife with a great deal of working that's gone into them. Now, first of all, when such a knife would have been made, a core such as this would have been used. A hammer stone would have been used to strike off a flake, a flake like this, then from the flake, a great deal of working goes into it. So we have here on this tool, first of all, the point of percussion, which is called the bulb of percussion, and then we have areas of retouch on the tool where people have applied pressure flaking, perhaps with a bone, to remove these tiny flakes to make a nice sharp knife. And they're called Ewan knives. And here's another example of a larger knife. It's, it's darker in colour because uh, the quartzite has actually been treated by heat to make, to make it harder and more durable for cutting. So Kenneth Cave is a very important site because it provides not only a clue as to early Aboriginal occupation, but also provides a, a good view of, and a, a clear idea of, of the rich material culture that Aboriginal people had.